have your first book out right now. Congratulations. Why don't you tell us about it? Sure. It is called You Look Like That Girl, and it is a memoir. It is about my life growing up working as an actor. I started working when I was four years old. So kind of going through, uh, you know, growing up in that Hollywood world is right. kind of an awkward uh, experience at times. So I write about a lot about that. Mm -hmm. And then what happened when I was in my early 20s and realized that I wanted to see what else there was in the world. I wasn't sure that acting yeah. was really my passion mm -hmm. and I wanted to kind of change my mind and, and, and try something new. And so that was a very difficult decision to make yeah. because I think our culture tends to think that being an actor and being in movies is the best thing you could ever imagine. Right, so a lot of right. people thought I was You were living the dream. Absolutely, but it kind of felt like maybe it was somebody else's dream. It wasn't necessarily right. my dream after a while. And so I think probably a lot of people can relate to that idea of maybe feeling like they're doing something out of momentum. They're doing something mm -hmm. because they've been doing it for a really long time, but maybe it's not what they really want to do with the rest of their life. And that can be a very right. exciting and very scary moment. Yeah. Do you, would you say that that's one of the themes of your memoir? Yeah, I think it's very much about living authentically, even if that's maybe not what you expected your life to look like or what other people expected your life to look like. It's really important, I think, it was very important for me to really take stock of what I was doing and what my contribution to the world was. And yeah. I think that that can be a really helpful thing for anybody to kind of look at what are you doing is it really making you happy yeah now do you miss it at all do you miss being in movies or you know I worked for 18 years yeah. I had a really good time doing that for the majority of my career mm -hmm. and I'm really happy to be done you yeah. know I feel like I had I had the career I wanted to have and now I'm really excited to to be a writer and have this new yeah. adventure so I don't actually miss it I miss some friends that I had in LA that I don't get to see as much as I would like to but mm -hmm. I'm uh, I feel really good being done with that part of my life do you have any other writing projects coming up are you working on on a second book I am working on a second book oh, cool. I'm just in the very beginnings of that but mm -hmm. What I've found when I talk about my story, something that I, I like to talk about because I don't think we talk about it enough in our culture, is um, about anxiety and panic attacks. Yeah. And a lot of people struggle with these things, and I, I certainly have struggled with those things all my life. And so I do talks, and I go to high schools and colleges and conferences, and I'll oh, talk about really these nice. things. And people are desperate to talk about this stuff. And I think there is still kind of this shroud of shame around yeah. mental health mm -hmm. and I think that it's really helpful for people that are struggling with things like that to realize that they're not alone, yeah. that this is something that a lot of people have to deal with uh, at, at one point or another in their lives. And so that's what my next book is going to be about. It's going to be part memoir, but mm -hmm. a lot of research, a lot of talking to other people about their experiences oh, with, with those. Other people's stories. Oh, that's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever switch to writing fiction or, or is nonfiction and memoir your, your passion? I have about seven different books in the back of my head and some mm. of them are definitely fiction. So yeah, yeah. I, have, I have a lot uh, a lot of ideas going and it's just the order that they're going to come in. But I would love to write fiction. Cool. And do, do people ever stop you and recognize you? Yeah, they do, which is amazing to me. I, yeah. I still get recognized quite frequently from Mrs. Doubtfire, which mm -hmm. I was 14 when I did that. Yeah. I, am, I am now 36, <laughs> so that's always a little bit staggering to me. But I do, I, and it's the title of my book because it happens so often. People yeah. say, you look like that girl from Doubtfire or Independence Day or whatever. Oh, do they sometimes say it, not, not realizing that you're the same person, but... Yeah, you know. it's either that or people think we went to high school together. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because you're familiar, but... Yeah. Exactly. Well, good luck with your book, and thanks so much for speaking with Thank us. Thank you so much. Had a great time.